Good morning, everyone. I am going to start a painting. Wasn't sure what size paper I wanted to use. And also this had a little dent in it and I didn't want to use a piece of paper that had a little damage to the, not terrible, but I'll just use this or cut this down, use it for something else. I'm gonna get started. Moving in, getting closer in New York to phase three. So I'm working on my sign, changing it officially from to stay at home to anticipation. Um, art is so important and I just was thinking about how with all that's going on, whether we're reopening or with closing and with schools, that art is very important, all the arts, and that there's no reason to be cutting the arts. Like, why do they do that? Why is funding going to be cut for the arts? Everything's important. Would we ever think of cutting math or English? Why are we cutting the arts? Just think of how much art plays into our lives. What we see here, there's so many ways to approach them, even whether the schools are fully reopening or not. I, I don't get that. There's, they need to have a committee, or I'm using people who create art on the committee, working with others or a school official, and not just a committee to have a committee, but they should real, there are so many ways to continue with the arts, and they're so important for children and learning of all ages. So if you have a voice, and if you don't, start one, because the arts should not be cut. They're vital to children's development and sensibilities. So connected to math and English and social studies and really every, you know, all the subjects. You know, if you have right to your congressmen, right to your local officials, do not cut the arts. Find out who they are in your area. And there's a lot of ways you can visit museums online. You know, the museums are not opened here in New York City, but you can visit them. In fact, I was listening to a fantastic talk about art on the museums and artwork and the collections in New York City in the beginning of the Guggenheim, some of the pieces, and the MoMA, and comparing their collections. And it was by PAC, P-A-C. They go live online, sometimes on Facebook. And uh, this one was by John Sino. I don't know if it was being videoed. It was, a, it was live on Facebook, but I suggest you look into it, check it out. Talking about children and art, I'm gonna buy some as a gift, but I like the Crayola watercolors for children and the Sargent, both two nice brands. You can get a set, the eight colors or the 16 colors in, in both and the Crayola. The colors really stay up. They hold up through the years. I've looked back at work done with them by students and the colors hold up really nicely if you just want to play with them yourselves but it's if you want to get a set and maybe get like a little better brush get some nice inexpensive you know like a, um, a size four or maybe a six like a larger brush for a, a child to work with a two but I think the younger maybe kids can just deal with like a four and maybe a wider brush three varieties but a six size uh, six brush, you know, meaning the thickness of the brush would be fine if you just had one. The Crayola sets and even the Sargent, they're pretty decent. Some of these paint sets though, they're just uh, awful. The brushes, you can't even use them. I like to keep a brush or two in my set so that if I'm with a child, this is colorific. It's a pretty nice brush, huh? It's a nine, a nice size. Them to have the quality. And just a nice drawing paper. If you get a sketch pad, even paper in it should be fairly fine, depending on the brand. I'll be picking up some supplies or ordering, and then you know they have order and then pick up in a lot of the stores. Want to buy some supplies? Bring as a gift, a good gift to send. 
a thing through the set. So if you're going to get someone paints, you know, you want to send paper. If it's a young child, maybe you want to get a little apron or an adult. <laughs> I have my apron here. <laughs> or a roll of paper they could put that uh, was suggest newspaper. A lot of people are reading online, so there's not that much newspaper handy. So the parent could put it on the table, or you can put it on your table when you're painting and just have fun with it. I mean, even if you do something, and I was uh, just using this blotter for my anticipation and working out the letters, and you could take this and then draw on it and make a design. So everything is good. You don't, you wanna encourage, even if you are painting, what you're doing and work with it not crumble up every bit of paper and say that's no good because you can make something you could work with it right please ask your local officials not to cut the arts state officials and federal i'm sure they all have paintings in their homes and i'm sure they all go when we can <laughs> when theater will be opening keep going to theater going to dance performances and listening to music online. I started off when this was changing mid-March. I wound up being in two shows that went online and I'm on, I'm in two shows right now that are virtual. Didn't start that way. I remember when I was very young, I, well, my mother and my parents had, probably were from what we called then the five and 10. <laughs> stores that sold a little bit of this and a little bit of that, which maybe that's home goods now. But they had reproductions of Monet's. It was a lot rarer to see reproductions now. We have so many, you know, you know, mass-produced art, and you can have real art. You can have my real art for affordable pricing. But in the living room, I think three different pieces and they were reproductions. And then slowly, our aunt gave us a piece when she was redoing it, real painting, maybe, from Corvettes. <laughs> I don't know was, how real it was, probably. So we had that and it was scenery. And then starting collecting people, we had some paintings, some collections of watercolor. Remember my brother traded, did more pottery then, brought home some paintings, some beautiful watercolors, one which I still have, that hanging in the house. And then as I went to art school, started collecting each other's work. And many of my friends are practicing artists today. So I collect art too. That influence, so we didn't have the internet. I had a poster that I sent away for when I was a child. So I guess it's just like influences of art. And it was a Sunday morning, poster of Sunday morning, and it was on the phone book. And you could send away and get a free poster. And I did, beautiful poster. Phone books, that's how you used to look up people's numbers, guys. The yellow pages, the white pages, they had telephone numbers. The white pages were like local phone numbers and the yellow pages were business. I sent away and I had this beautiful painting of Sunday morning, which is owned by the Whitney. I loved it. Still one of my favorite paintings. What we surround ourselves matters. All right, so support your art, 
call up your local schools. You don't have to have a child. You could t still tell them you're paying taxes. You want the arts to remain in the schools. This is important. And it influences our children and enriches their lives. And it's just imp as important as any subject. And yes, it is, all right? It is, I say so. <laughs> have a great day, stay safe, uh, enjoy. And uh, we're here at the end of June. So uh, happy summer and see you next time. And uh, we're going from stay at home and transitioning into reopening. And so we have our anticipation. Take care, bye.